the Mikmar Pelhams. Mikmar offers a wide variety of Pelham choices. With three cheekpiece sizes and four different mouthpiece styles available, you can customize your bit to suit your needs. A Pelham bit combines the functions of a snaffle and a curb. The top rein acts as a snaffle with more direct action, encouraging lateral flexion and lifting the horse's frame. The bottom rein provides a leverage action and activates the curb chain, encouraging vertical flexion and providing more stop. This very useful type of bit allows the rider to finesse their ride better by utilizing different degrees of pressure for control. For riders who prefer using only a single rein, converters work well. A converter is a rounded leather strap that connects the snaffle and the curb reins of the bit to one rein. When choosing a bit, the rider's skill level and the horse's training, disposition, and confirmation should be considered. The cheek pieces are offered in 5 inch, 4.5 inch, or 4 inch, which we call our Tom Thumb style. The overall size of the Tom Thumb cheek is much smaller. Varying degrees of leverage are provided. The longer the cheek, the more leverage. There are four mouthpiece styles to choose from. Two styles are the solid type, the Mikmar standard mouthpiece and the Mikmar slanted low port mouthpiece. The other two styles are the jointed type, the jointed low port mouthpiece and the jointed slanted low port mouthpiece. All four styles are made of Mikmar's unique lightweight metal alloy and include a copper roller which stimulates saliva. They're great for discouraging the horse from putting its tongue over the bit and they keep a nervous or busy mouth horse pacified. These mouthpieces are designed to be effective without abuse to the horse. The Mikmar standard mouthpiece is wide and flat. It rotates slowly, applying pressure to the tongue, bars, and palate. It rests in a comfortable position in the horse's mouth and offers the maximum leverage available. For instance, if you desire a lot of leverage and need more control, this mouthpiece combined with our 5-inch cheek is an excellent choice. Yeah, I don't see a, a lot of horses fighting with it, with the mouthpiece because I don't, they're not really afraid of it. So it's, uh, they usually fight when they start getting, when they start being, getting afraid of a bridle. Um, Kevin Babington was talking about his chestnut horse and how the horse is really strong, but if he has too much bridle, he loses the shape of his horse. And he thought, and he found that with that bridle, he could not only con had a lot, enough control, but the horse wasn't afraid of it and gave him a beautiful shape in the air. And that's what got me thinking about the, the, my one Grand Prix horse. If I, the one that was in the Hackamore, he, is a, he gets worried of other bridles and you can't put a lot of bridle on him. And yet he's very strong. So I, that's when I ran and put that Mickmore Pelham on and I got the same thing. I got beautiful shape out of his jump and I thought he wasn't afraid of the mouthpiece. I felt that y you had a lot of control, but whereas you could just give back and be really soft, and you could, all, you know, when you need to use it, you really can use it, but when you're not using it, you can be very, very soft with it. The Mikmar slanted low port mouthpiece positions our Pelham with swept back shanks, resulting in less leverage than our standard mouthpiece. The mouthpiece has been angled back and the port is lower providing minimal pallet pressure for shallow or softer mouth horses. If you desire a solid mouthpiece that is milder and more forgiving, yet providing effective results, this is a good choice. I find with a lot of with these bits, especially like an older horse that say wants to pull, you put it on them and all of a sudden, because of the way it's shaped, they start to froth more at the bridle. They start to kind of soften up to your hand and they start to want to become, they, all of a sudden you'll see them relax their back and they'll start to want to become connected to the rider. If you prefer a broken style mouthpiece, Mikmar offers the jointed low port or jointed slanted low port styles. Both styles function very similar and hit the same pressure points of the original Mikmar mouthpiece, but provide the feel and function of a double jointed bit. Balance, balance, and balance. <laughs> really helps the horse's balance. This, I think, would, is a little easier to turn a horse in. Rides like a broken snaffle, but with a, with a curb chain. And I love the flat piece on, uh, in their mouth, the Mikmar. To me, when I rode in it the first day, 
it's a lot more pliable in their mouth than the Pelham, than the straight Pelham. And the straight Pelham works great on a lot of horses, but this horse is, this horse in particular is downhill, naturally, and he wants to root a little bit, so I thought the, the straight Pelham would be great, and then I put him in the double jointed one, and it's just beautiful. He still likes to root a little bit, but he's only six, and uh, it just really helps their balance also. He loves to chew on it, and I like that. I like the fact that they roll the roller and, and the port's a little tiny bit smaller for him if you have a low palated horse. With the straight position of the jointed low port, more pressure and leverage is provided. The jointed slanted mouthpiece offers a slightly angled position and level, resulting in less leverage. The broken one, you just get a lot more movement and you're able to move the bit through their mouth a little bit. And I think some horses will respond to that very well, the, the, the looseness of it and maybe loosen their jaw up and follow it a bit more. But I've also, you know, I found that back and forth from the broken one to the straight one, that some horses just, just gotta try them both because some horses are really soft and give you a lot of loose jaw in the straight one as well. Each individual Pelham cheek piece and mouthpiece combination provide a different feel, fit, and function, offering a variety of choices.